In this video, we're going to learn how to set up reports. The first step is navigating to your cloud.samsara.com. Then you'll go to the left where it says reports. The first type of report we're going to learn how to create is an asset report. Hit create asset report. Name the asset report here. You can select all the assets with a specific tag. You can search. You can select all of your assets. You can also select by data group. So let's say we just wanted all the casing pressures or asset details as well. You can select the time interval for this report and to choose the time period and time interval select these options or you can go back and select your own time interval here. You even have the option to select the exact time. To download the report, hit download CSV. Then you can hit save. Let's go to a real example. Here are all of the assets, and these are actually lift stations in a wastewater treatment plant. So here, hit edit, and we selected all of our assets. We quickly searched all the one under South Boston to select the assets. We wanted to create an AMP report, so we named it Pump Amps Max. We select all the Pump 1 Amps data groups, and here you also can select which value you want to report. So we're going to hit Max. We have the option of Asset Details if that applied. I'm going to filter the report for the last three days. Time interval, one hour. And then once this loads, I'll hit Download CSV. Now, the second type of report is data inputs. Here, create data input report, data input example, select all the data inputs you'd like, time interval selection, and you could go back and select which days you want to report on. Download CSV here and hit save. You can also schedule a report. Once you create an asset or data input report, hit add a scheduled report, schedule name, report, add all the contacts you'd like to receive the report on a weekly or daily basis, which day of the week, and time of day. Here, you can also schedule brand the report. Add your logo, report's name, reply to, business, phone number, and or website. Now, let's learn how to add a report onto a dashboard. So, you'll navigate to dashboards and you'll create a SCADA dashboard. Actually, this is a KPI dashboard. Asset report example. You'll go to table, under tables, embedded report, drag it. You can say asset report, and you can select which report you want to have on your dashboard. Then you can drag here, click this, you can even assign it to a dashboard or an asset and hit save. Now it's on a dashboard. You can select the time range by selecting which range you'd like to filter it on and you'll see that here. So today we learned how to create a data input and an asset report, how to schedule that report, and also how to visualize a report on a dashboard.